Hello everyone, GC13 here, and I am back with the third video of my Alpha 12 Prison, Ar Prison Architect tutorial. The um, first thing I want to do uh, before I get to anything else and I forget is to get my regime fixed up a little bit, to uh, kind of claw back some of this spare time in the morning. We're gonna be kind of slave drivers, I guess. That should be free time. We're gonna we're gonna work our prisoners pretty hard right now. Actually, we'll keep them working for a bit and free time then. Well, I thought I was missing something, but the point is you want to have make sure your workers are gonna be in this workshop plenty of time during the day. But we're still going to give them time to take care of stuff like their bladder and bowel needs as well as their comp as well as give them time in the common room. And since it's almost time for the common room to be in use, I'm going to go ahead and do what I plan to do and get in some more TVs and phone booths for them to use. Just in case you're wondering, I have decided I'm not going to accept those 22 prisoners. Um, it would cost it would just cost me far too much to to accept them. I would have to spend a couple thousand for the foundation, and then I would have to spend at least 300 on each cell. Um, that's if I just put in the bed and the toilet, and up to 700 if I wanted to run the cell properly with walls and a jail door. So instead of that, I do believe I promised I would show you guys what a shakedown looked like because, again, I'm, I'm certain these guys have all sorts of stuff, so since they're in free time, and we'll check the needs, there are no important needs, we're going to go ahead and click the shakedown button. That's why I hired the additional guard. And let's... Oh, I don't have anyone assigned to the workshop. Good. That means all four of my guards are free to... free to run this shakedown, because otherwise it can take quite some time. So... During a shakedown, all they're doing is it just queues up. They want to look at every prisoner and each prisoner's cell, and they're just going over it one by one, talking like combine soldiers while they do it on the radio. And we haven't found anything yet, which is actually kind of surprising. From what I've seen, anywhere from one in six to one in four of your prisoners. Oh, will bring in something, and if I had unlocked the contraband screen and bureaucracy, as I will go ahead and research now, I could actually trace where these came from, and some of this they're going to, some of this they're going to sneak out. The knife I doubt they could have snuck out, because they didn't, the cleaning crew didn't have access to the kitchen for very long, but if I find stuff like hacksaws or screwdrivers, I'll be pretty sure they were getting those from the workshop. Probably what I'm going to go ahead and do um, once I have the money is I'm going to put in some metal detectors right here since this is a main thoroughfare of the prison and they will be passing through this way several times every day. Uh, there's a saw. See, saws will either be smuggled in or stolen from the workshop. Once I have the contraband overlay, I'll show you where all the all the contraband can come from. And since I have 24 people, I want to make sure to have enough seating space for all of them at my next meal time. So I'm going to go ahead and get that done right now too, in the midst of a shakedown. Now, you'll I, I'm going up to the danger screen so I can show you that although I have no danger level in my prison, I am getting a significant penalty for prisoners having been unnecessarily searched. So if you already have a high danger level in your prison, you're probably not going that's probably not the best time to run a shakedown because that can make the tension level in your prison so high that angry prisoners will become violent prisoners. Um, for the most part, you're only going to want to run shakedowns when everything is pretty calm. And see that is a lot of stuff I just found. But everything's okay now. I'll show you the contraband report once contraband is finished researching as well. Uh, 
I'm getting enough people. I should check my power level first. We're getting pretty close. I want to put in another fridge and another cooker. I don't have so many prisoners that my cooks are having to store ingredients on the floor, but you know, it's better to... I'm gonna be getting that many soon. So we're gonna go ahead and put in an additional capacitor. See, it's, it's expenses like this that made it not worth it for me to... Not worth it for me to go ahead and... Oh. Oops. I thought that looked funny. Not to go ahead and take in 22 prisoners all at once. Essentially doubling my capacity. Just about. That's in. We'll go ahead and toss in a cooker. And a fridge. Now you'll see that that bin that I have in between the cookers. I just leave that there so that you'll see that they're dropping ingredients on the ground a lot so that they'll take the ingredient and put it into the bin rather than just leaving it there so when the workmen come to remove that garbage it's just one garbage bag rather than them having to take each piece of food individually. And we are on to free time now. Contraband finished researching just recently so I can show you the contraband report. As you can see, there is no supply or demand for weapons in my prison, nor for tools. I guess they're not all that interested in escaping, or maybe it's just that they know they can't use those tool tools to tunnel out just yet. Keep your eye out for that in Alpha 13. And there's no supply and small demand for narcotics and luxury items. Luxury items, which I can show you now. Oh, look at that. Visitation. Big, 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 big source of that stuff. Also, the off-limits offices can give them plenty of plenty of that, so I just really have to worry about them stealing saws, screwdrivers, hammers, and drills. Um, only one of which I found in my shakedown. I am honestly surprised by that. I really would have thought that there would have been more. time to eat. I, I know one thing that a lot of people complain about is that prisoners will take food and not eat. You will see this guy, that guy never said that he was eating, but he was showing the eating animation and his food need did go down. It's just like this guy. He's sitting, but he's doing the eating animation and none of these guys have food problems. So whatever causes that bug, it's not hitting me at the moment. You'll see my Green dots are turning into green eyes, meaning they're changing from prisoners who have received meals to pr prisoners who have eaten their meals. And everybody's food need is taken care of, and now the prisoners are off to sleep. So, ten prisoners in the workshop. I only need three here and four here. That means I have... I have enough prisoners to to make the workshop a bit bigger. So we're going to go ahead and spend our money on that just as soon as midnight rolls around. Actually, I'll put in two presses right right now. Give it one space. Just looking, I should have got a bit more money than that. Mm, got a few thousand. Nothing to be ashamed of. Jobs, we should have ten. We're gonna up that to one, two, three, fourteen. Seventeen. Sixteen, or six. So, that should be all twenty-three of our people. And... Okay, good. That shouldn't put the lights out. But it will get awfully close, so we're going to go ahead and put in another capacitor. Now, uh, one thing, one thing I saw, and I, I don't, don't think I explained it. If you have to disassemble a workshop saw or a workshop press for any reason, your workman will go ahead and they'll dismantle it and it'll turn into a box 
However, your prisoners will not want, or your prisoners are the ones who have to actually move that box into storage. So you're going to have to make sure that you have a workshop with extra prisoners assigned to it. That means more than will be running these machines. And once work time rolls around, they will pick that box up, and as long as you give them a free path, for instance, you would have to make this, this, and this general population so that they would have a free path from the workshop through to storage, then, then they would take care of that. However, since I do not need to move anything, we're just going to leave those leave those staff only. And I like it. I like how everything is right now. Everything's pretty quiet. I have a couple thousand extra in the bank to purchase stat sheet metal during the day. I could probably put in one more machine, but there wouldn't be much point of that. So this there's not going to be a whole lot going on. What I what I should do is I should use my time to expand the shower. Actually, because there are more people than when we started. And we will check the utilities. Okay, not all of this will be plumbed. Just want to make sure all of our bases are covered. And I could put in beds and toilets up there, but again, I would only I would not even be able to put in all of the beds, so because I have to make sure to keep money in reserve for that scrap metal. But we have plenty of cookers, we have two cooks and only 23 prisoners, um, which we could go probably, to be honest, we could live dangerously and go up to 40 prisoners with just the two cooks and be just fine. But I like to, I like to keep it down to, I like to keep it down to 16 prisoners for every cook. These guys. And shower time is in half an hour. We're gonna put a guard up here just to keep watch. The hygiene need isn't isn't too bad right now. You'll see even though they are only getting to sleep for a few hours from eleven until six, that is all the sleep they need. They, they really only need the seven. They, they'll sleep in if I let them, which is, again, why I have the shower time in the morning to wake them up. Low and increasing. 2 to 9, 2 to 7. Let's see, just a, just a shower in the morning. Keep them feeling fresh. Move move my assigned guard from the shower to the canteen. Now again, I have not forgotten that this is going to be our security room. There, I'll just put in a desk, a uh, filing cabinet, and a chair in a corner, and I will put banks of closed-circuit close television monitors along this wall, and I will station guard in each bank. I'll probably only put three monitors in a bank. You, you can do four. I will only do three. And you just station a guard in the middle of the bank using a custom patrol of just a single square, and they will stand there and monitor the monitor the monitors, actually, and each bank will give me the ability to put up nine closed-circuit television cameras. I have not thought ahead about where they're going to go. I will probably have one in the common room, one in the clean cleaning cupboard and one in the laundry and one in visitation just so I can keep an eye on that but the vision on them only go only penetrates far enough for me to look at four cells down the line so even if I were to stick an extra wall out here and put one on the back wall here there would still be a need to station guard in here in each cell block so I could constantly keep an eye on it so I will probably just stick to stick to areas where I'm not going to bother putting guards. Like again, laundry, cleaning cupboard, common room, 
workshop for when there's not a guard in here. I'm Actually, I might just never assign guards in there. Anyway, since not a whole lot is actually going to happen for now, I'm going to cut the video. Alright, that was a very busy day of license plate making, as I'm sure you are well aware. Uh, the prisoners are all running off to bed, which means I should be getting seven to eight thousand dollars from my license plate money very soon, plus the eight hundred dollars from my daily cash flow. And I have checked before, we should be getting sixteen more prisoners in tomorrow, and I think it's worth going for it and giving them the space, because again, as long as I don't give them walls or jail doors, I can actually pretty cheaply make those cells. That, that'll that run me about 5,000. Whoa! Oh boy, was I underestimating on those license plates. Okay, now I'm sure that we're going to go ahead and put these in. I'm just going to plan really quickly so I know exactly which square I need to take my foundation out to, and we're going to stay away from there. So. That's where we want to be. I'm going to go ahead and lay down the foundation. Not taking these walls out. And just like last time, we're going to not put our door until the workmen have finished, finished up the rest of the foundation. And... I've been also thinking about the setup of this workshop. You'll notice every time the work workmen need to take something from deliveries, they have to unload it here, then move all the way through the prison and take it into the workshop. I, was, I, I actually had time to measure it, and if I were to just give them a worker's entrance here, then I would be able to... I would be able to cut their trip almost in half. I think it's like 35 versus 60 meters they'd have to travel. So they, they would be able to get the sheet metal to my machines just that much quicker. And in order to, since, you know, I obviously have prisoners working here, I'm going probably going to have to dismantle the water pump and move it down so that I will have the space to put in a safety zone. So again, just in case any prisoners decide they have to they have to be free, I have the ability to lock them out. And I'm finally going to put doors in here. It, it looks it looks terrible without the doors. And dismantle you and knock some of these walls down since I do not need them. Luke and his weapons. Me and my me and my walls. So we need. We need four of these rows prepped, so we're just gonna. You know, we're not gonna bother pausing. We're just gonna. One, two, three, four. Oops. And you'll see, I already have some guys without jail doors. So why? Well, what's uh? What harm could it do? not having walls for some of these guys, right? Of course this means we're gonna have to expand the pipes up. And through. I really should not be expanding the pipes until after the workmen have taken care of the beds and the toilets. Because as soon as the beds are toilets in, these are going to count as cells, and I will be set when my when my prison when my prisoners arrive in the morning. But you know it, it's it's early. They have they have a few hours before they they get here. I, I shouldn't have to worry too much. Worst case scenario, they'll be standing outside for a couple hours longer than I intended. See, that this is with ten workmen, two more than you start with, and I'm still having to rush about at night, don't really have time to get everything finished. And how's my power load? Power load's looking good. 
I have enough money to put in a couple more machines in the workshop. But I want to get these cells in first. I have all day to put those prisoners to work, but only so long to get these cells in. And again, I'm going to go ahead and hire another guard, because I'm getting more prisoners in. And, but really, the reason I'm happy to have the guard is because I'm going to be able to patrol more places once, I, once, once that actually starts to matter. I actually have enough guards at this point where I could assign one to each of these cell blocks once it was fully zoned and I had this, this wall going all the way up. Once I get that in. prisoners are coming in in two hours and I'm due to release another so really I only need the 14 cells I already got I already got plenty in just need a couple more no trouble at all they should not be putting that there I don't know where their heads at with the laundry sometimes should at least be getting it into here not out here unless they never really moved it because I haven't saved the game and quit I just shut off the shut off the recording okay let's get my guy out of the shower I'm gonna have all five of my guards ready because I got 16 prisoners coming in and I don't want them taking too many trips and I have I don't have space for 40 prisoners, but I don't have enough space for them all to sit down. Just gonna put in a couple tables. Again, uh, I got I got all the cells ready, so the workmen are free to do anything until the sheet metal starts coming in, which should be in five minutes or seconds. Look at that, ready to roll. And so we're just going to trust them not to make trouble in the workshop. Um, again, our danger level is very low right now, so they're not going to do anything. Here's something I haven't been doing. Let, let's watch these prisoners here and see if we can catch any of them with contraband. Every so often they'll briefly flash anything they're carrying. They'll, they'll just say, hey, look what I've got. And so if you're really persistent, you can actually spot them. There go some of the new trays. Because we got nothing else to do. It's either this or the license plates. And I'd really like to show you catching one of these guys with contraband, if I can. Somebody with narcotics, or please no, not a shotgun. But... This group out here seems pretty well behaved. Uh, maybe maybe some of the guys who got taken in quickly were carrying, and it's just the luck of the draw. But again, the <coughs> prisoners do not use any of their tools they get to escape, and as long as you keep your threat level low, you're not going to have to worry about them using their weapons. Here goes our second released prisoner. Let's see. He says released down here. A lot of people don't notice that it says released, and so they'll be very frustrated when, say, a guard runs up to let them out of the prison rather than stop them. Um, and again, they, they've just been released. They've served their sentence. It counts down at a rate of one year of sentence for every game day. And that is actually a big limiting factor to the size of your prison because even with maximum security prisoners let, let's check some of their sentence times this guy's got 14 years left this guy's only gonna be with me for 16 days this guy's only gonna be with me 11 days this is guy only seven days so let's say that the average sentence length is 12 years and the average shipment in is 16 prisoners well that means that you know, I'm only going to be able to have, on average, 192 prisoners in here. So, I'll, I'm probably overestimating the length of the sentence, actually, because some people actually have trouble getting up to 100, although they might be running on a small map where the average prisoners would be probably a quarter lower, if I had to guess. 
I, I don't know if... I don't know how the prisoner intake is distributed. Let's go ahead and... We should have enough money to go ahead and put in one more saw and one more press in here. And workmen will get to that, and we'll sign two more workers. And since we've got 16 in, I can safely max this out and put way too many people there, and I'll still have plenty of prisoners working on free time, which means I don't really have room in this setup for 14 prisoners. I definitely don't have the money to house them, because I haven't even really finished these cells here. I need to put cell doors on these 8 cells. I need to put walls and cell doors on these 16. I, I just can't accommodate these prisoners, so again, no pressure. I'm just gonna close my close my prison off. Um, so since we were talking about the maximum, about sustainable prison size, I might as well show you. Um, I could open this up, and you'll see I have 14 maximum security prisoners arriving. Even if I open up normal and low risk, it's still just going to be 14 prisoners. It's just instead of being all maximum security prisoners, there will be normal and minimum security mixed in with there. So you, how many prisoners you get is fixed. All you get to decide is what security levels you're open to. And that that's what you're stuck with. Let's see. I don't have enough money to put in another cooker or hire another cook, really, because again, I have to I have to worry about my scrap metal situation. Why aren't these guys? Oh, OBS power bug hitting me. Well, it's a good thing we're towards the end of the video. Once I save and. Probably I have to shut down my computer to make this bug go away. I don't know why it doesn't see the press is receiving power, though. You'll see the, the power cable adjacent to it is indeed powered. So it's anyone's guess what's happening there. But that should be powered once I save, probably shut down my computer, and reload. I'm, I'm not too worried about that. The extra two prisoners I assigned here can make themselves useful ferrying the scrap metal around and the license plate planks and the finished license plates. I, that, that is not a, that's not a worry to me. And I thought they had fixed this in Alpha 12, but apparently they haven't. They can use these machines without power. So really, you're just, I, I, it's like I said in my Alpha 11 tutorial, the, this stuff may not be necessary, but I'm not the kind of person to exploit the game for not requiring me to use the power. See that these are going up over time, even though the machine isn't powered. It, it should be powered, but the game thinks it isn't. Mm -hmm. But I think we're looking pretty good right now. We're gonna we have enough space to put in eight more eight more prisoners. We have plenty of work for our workmen to do tonight, and believe me, we're going to have lots of money for them to do it with. Um, I want to put in the next cell block right here. Probably what I'll do is I'll make this a hallway, so you can... I'll put in another hallway, hall access here, so they can get at the common room cleaning cupboard and the laundry from either side. And this this will link the hallways, so they don't necessarily have to travel through the rooms. They will, they will travel through the rooms, but for aesthetics, we'll make it so they wouldn't have to. And then I'll probably put a s solitary confinement wing up here. Maybe I will knock out the wall between these two, turn this whole thing into common room, and put in a larger cleaning cupboard in here, because we're not going to need very many solitary cells, since fights are going to be pretty rare in this prison. Um, let me see the l see the length we have to worry about here. So we'll have a one width hallway for this. And oh yeah, we, we have lots of room for solitary confinement. Um, sometimes your thing's going to be too skinny for the cells. Really, you only need two squares out for a solitary cell. This is for the prisoner to stand in, and this is for you to put the door in. I kind of like to put in a toilet in this one, and then this is just extra space, and this is where the door is. But you'll see even that gives me three wide for hallway here. So I, I could give them luxurious resort solitary cells if I want. 
or I could try to be fancy with the solitary cells. Um, I'm not going to bore you guys with me playing around with the solitary cell design. I will do that on my own time. But I think that should just about do it for this video. Um, if you have any any solitary confinement designs you'd like to you'd like to show me, or if you just have any ideas on what I should do with all this free space I'm going to have up here, um, you can go ahead and leave me a comment and please like this video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And probably on Monday is when we're going to see the payday for this huge stack of license plates. And then think about finishing off this cell block and starting a new one. I've been a G this has been GC13, and I really hope that you found this helpful.